what it do, baby. It's your boy Baki back with another one. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Penguin, my thoughts on it so far, where it is, and, you know, just how much I'm enjoying it, man. I really, really do enjoy this show as a whole. I think it's actually quite incredible. Let me clean my glasses real quick. While I'm cleaning my glasses, uh, if you guys haven't done so, I'd love, love, love to have you stick around. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that like button if you like to talk about the Penguin. I talk about everything and anything on this channel. Literally informative materia is a channel that I wanted to have a little bit of everything, you know, so it's a little bit of every kind of flavor. We talk about movies, shows, games, you name it. We do it here. Love to have you stick around. So I went into the Penguin after episode one, excited, but reserved. And I think honestly, now I can say, I mean, you never know how things end, but I think honestly, right now I can say that I'm enjoying this show so much that I'm, I think I'm going to like it all the way through. Uh, every character has a lot of weight and pizzazz about them. Like, like, for example, the Falcons family, they all were wearing like elegant kind of shit, you know, like they were very much suited up like like a like a mob family, but a little bit more, though, like they had a little bit more ties into like the Gotham fashion, you know what I'm saying? And the way like Sophia is dolled up. Oh, my Lord. Sophia has stole the show. I thought it was going to be a penguin show, bro. I dude, Sophia is like, that's it for me, bro. She has she has this thing where she doesn't blink a lot and she has really good scenes where her eyes are just like staring you down. And I love that. And I can show you. Like, Hi. <laughs> there aren't any plants though. It's more of a yard, really. I always look for birds, but I can never see any. <laughs> oh, he'll give you candy now. What? I also love Vic. I love, uh, oh man. This show might be the best filler. <clears throat> to possibly ever exist like in a weird way and it's not necessarily filler because it's canon but I, I mean filler is in like it's literally filling in a gap that going to be now ran over by batman 2 like so from batman 1 to batman 2 you're going to have a jump but the jump now is the penguin which then sets us up to be prepared for whatever they do in batman 2 and they don't have to do a bunch of you know, set up stuff really quick to show this balance of where it's been or do a talk back or a flashback. It kind of gets rid of all of that. Now you can just focus on Batman and maybe what Batman's been going through instead of having to set up the crime side because you can only do so much and you only have so much time in a movie. So I think that that's a really, really, really genius way for them to go about having this is having this series that's really really meaty and is actually changing the dynamic and the status quo of everything that's going on and also pushing forward the narrative for what will become uh in the next movie without showing a villain or anything like that it's just pushing forward time if you will and what's happening after this big gigantic thing you know I have no gripes about it, bro. And you know what else I love about it, too? I love how almost every episode, how it ends, they all end so beautifully and begin so beautifully. Like in the, <clears throat> in the, I think it was the last episode um, where it shows uh, the Maserati's face all smashed. And then it shows the Maserati's face all smashed. And then, it, and then he sets it on fire. And like uh, v penguins talking to Vic and he's like yo like it's just you and me bro like we gotta fight we gotta we gotta buckle up you know what I mean like this is it like you ready and then like Vic's like saying yes but like the fire between them as the contrast was just so beautifully done as they're actually like describing this like descent into darkness it was it was oh man there's so much like there's so much beautiful filmography and cinematography uh being done like the the cinematography is absolutely incredible in this show and i guess that's because that's hbo like you know money behind it where it's just like man every moment every moment i'm on my toes and there's a bunch of scenes where I, i'm like okay that scene was kind of bull there's no way they're gonna get out of it and then like they solve it somehow that's weird like for example with the mushrooms and after he had set uh the the sun on fire with the mom right for the uh maronis or whatever after he had set him on fire 
I was like, man, I was like, bro, the mushrooms are, aren't going to make it. She said those shits were super fragile, bro. And then next thing you know, he gets to the spot and all the mushrooms are gone. And I was like, oh, see, I like that. I like that they actually made some shit happen. And then they made it seem like you would be like, how the mushrooms going to make it out of that one? Like, that'd be stupid if the mushrooms were alive and you go back and the mushrooms are all gone and they have to kind of like work their way up. Like, I love I love those kind of ideas impregnated into the story because it just it it gets my worriness like out of the way of whatever i think that is going to happen or i'm not going to enjoy or whatever else about like little stupid moments I'm like man how the mushrooms make it that the lady said this 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 and they show you like yeah all the mushrooms basically died they got two things of mushrooms left so that kind of stuff i really really enjoy about the penguin as well colin farrell's killing it um the actors who's playing vic and sophia are killing it Everybody in that show is doing a great job. Even the new, even the new Carmine. Uh, I forget his name. I love him as an actor anyway. So that worked out for me too. I'm like, cool. You know, I saw, uh, what's his name? Say he didn't want to do it because he was hurting women or something like that. Like, chill, bro. Anyways, uh, I absolutely love this entire, entire thing, man. There's not really much I have bad to say about it. Every episode so far has been uh, pretty great for me. And see, like, I couldn't even tell you my favorite episode so far, because every time I see a new episode, I think I like it more than I like the last episode. But my favorite moment in the entire show so far is that scene at, and I think it's in the, I think it's at the beginning of the fourth episode, before they show Sophia's, like, Arkham stuff, right? Penguin is, like, talking and he's like being put into a corner and it's him and Sophia on the ground and Penguin's like talking and like he's so afraid of like to die and to lose. He's yapping so much that like his mouth is foaming at the mouth. Like it it, it actually was like it was an inc- to me that was the most incredible moment in the entire like show so far for me personally that little moment. Because, like, his foaming at the mouth, like, showed how desperate he was in that moment to try to sell himself out in any way, shape, or form. Gotta trust me. I'm on your side. It might not work out for the penguin. Penguin might die, bro. That would actually be crazy if the penguin dies at the end of this. You'd be like, no way. The penguin died in the penguin show? That would be kind of stupid, but listen. <laughs> He could go, bro. I don't know. It ain't looking too good. Now, Sophia's probably going to have to go, obviously, but yeah, who knows, bro. I I love it, though. The foaming at the mouth had me rolling, bro. I was like, this is absolutely, this is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Man, love the show. Absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 so far, man. I just wanted to talk about it for a little bit, have a little conversation. Um, If you guys haven't done so... You guys can follow me on a couple places. I'm streaming on Twitch usually most of the time. Love to have you there. Usually playing uh, random hidden gem stuff. Right now we're playing PS2, Drac, and the Ancient Gates just because I don't have anything to play for now because I'm moving in a couple days. So I don't really want to get into anything. Uh, we're also going to be doing Castlevania month. Um, whenever I do get moved and settled in, in the new place, uh, not going to have a lot of space like I used to. So we're going to have to figure that out. But whenever I do get in, and do that uh we're going to be on um all the castlevania games ever pretty much vampire survivors is coming out with castlevania dlc that should be another video for you guys i'm going to be putting out a lot of videos as well uh across the next couple i don't know weeks or so because i'm going to be recording a lot like today and tomorrow those are going to be like my big two recording days so if you see me in a lot of the same clothes you know why it's pretty much the same day i recorded a lot of this stuff so I appreciate you guys. I hope y'all have a great evening, morning, noon, night, whatever it may be for you guys. Watch The Penguin if you haven't. It's a great ride so far. Honestly, I would even say wait. Wait until it's, it's done, and then you can just binge it. But I, didn't, I like kind of, I've watched every episode twice so far, and I haven't regretted it one bit. It's so good. It's so good. I'm loving it. What are your guys' thoughts about The Penguin? Let me know what you think about this bad boy. And what do you think is going to be the future for Batman 2 because of this show? I'll see y'all on the next one, baby.